Hi, welcome to this um, overview. We're talking about the new release, Arch Labs 5.0 or R2D2. There's a lot of things that have happened since 4.1, and let's go over them one by one. First off, I think the main first thing to tell you is that R2D2 will have a new desktop environment. It's called i3WM or Tiling Manager, and it's also supplied with GAPS, so it's a specific kind of i3WM. Let's first get to that one. So you exit your system. I've already changed some things around. You will see it later. And then you have to remember, because of the fact that we have now a dual desktop environment, you can choose OpenBox or i3, but remember to go up, up there and change to whatever you want to log into. So I want to log into an i3. So I choose i3 and then you just type in like you always do. And then you get this different kind of desktop environment. It's a tiling manager. What does he do? Well, just pressing super enter and again and again. That's what tiling is. Super shift Q and whatever the mouse is on, so it's active, then you just quit it or delete it. So super shift Q. We have provide, uh, provided yeah, a uh, con key with help. There is a shortcut keys, a lot of shortcut keys in there. And one you need to know probably is the same as an open box. So we try to use the same um, open box keyboard shortcuts. So when it's in your fingers, a super X will not show the icons because we are in i3 here. It shows down here to the left bottom. You'll see if you want to lock it, log out and so on and so on. Or shut down, escape and you're out again. What else? You have here enter, super enter, which is going to be this, right? Super shift Q, gone again. And you can try out the menus and the menus are the same as an open box. Alt F3 will work. Super F11 will work. Super F12 will work. Alt F2 will work. So, sorry, um, this one will work. Alt F3 had it already, I think. And that's everything is the same. We try to make you as comfortably as possible when switching from open box to i3. Okay, so that's um, enough about i3 and let's go back to open box and see what changed there. So pressing super X, going for the L or log out. Remember, we have two desktops, go up there, tell them what we choose and that's that. If you do an auto login, then you just end up in open box. It's set in the lightdm.conf in etc folder if you want to change and all the time move uh, auto login in i3. Okay, now, um, what did we change besides i3wm, which is actually quite a major step, but what did we include uh, in open box? Well, a lot of things and First off, Calamaris is, is faster, is newer, is configured better, but that's, you don't see that. Huh? But it's fast. So in three minutes time, you have Calamaris installed. So that's great, fine. Then you have the system, and then we have um, been granted permission to use conkeys. A lot of people have um, said, okay, yeah, sure, use the conkeys. So there are a lot of conkeys that have been included and the first name tells from where it comes, Jesse Avalos, for instance, and more will be included along the line. So this, these conkeys are on the GitHub and there is a script to get these last uh, newest conkeys to your system. So that's all good, that will work. So conkeys have been added. What else? A lot of Rofi themes. When you go to the theming, which is here, a Rofi appearance, all these themes have been added and they are uh, a lot of them are following the art theme we have provided already in previous editions so we have for instance this look and all you have to do is press alt a which is up here as you can see alt a and then you can try it out and say okay that's the look i want 
All right, those are Rofi teams. They have a lot of uh, Tint2 teams. They have been added, so it's a, a really a teaming kind of um, distribution. And you just click and select. If you want to go for this one, just click. Yes, and there it is. Everything will look awesome. That's then too. Then there's a lot of open box as well. Open box can be found here in the window border. Right mouse click, that's my look. Hibiscus dark is this look. And now we have this look. So a lot of things can change. It's up to you to choose. Special thanks here for Smoking and Duncan Pringle for these um, themey Rofi and open box and tin too. What else? So theming, lots of theming. Yes, we keep going. Wallpapers, as you can see, this is one of the most beautiful wallpapers and there are more wallpaper selector. We have um, Submicron to thank for designs like, not this one I think, but this one I guess, and that one and so on. So beautiful wallpapers that are provided by generous people we have 78 and i think even 79 to be correct uh, termite appearance so this file here can be changed these colors here we have 79 definitions of colors do not change these it's just about the colors so if you want to have other colors than the one you're looking at now Control alt d then you can just copy paste the colors over and you have a new one all explained in other tutorials we have um let's go on I have a, a structure to follow here yeah the exit is the next one exit appearance that's one we actually saw already so this one is not a standard one i did change that already in another tutorial i've made it's quite simple let's put it back so exit appearance, it's going to a protected part, so it's asking me the password, and I just do this, and that's the normal item. So you've pro you've given you have been given whew, to new, okay. What else? We have also an unlock an uh, unlock uh, screen that we've created as well. Where is that? The unlock screen is inside in here exit appearance no slim appearance that's it so slim or slim lock we have one two three four five looks sorry if you go out of here don't save and you press a key which key super k the k from lock and the l from lockout something else okay so k is lock and you keep trying and again and again so it's randomly i like this one as well and so on so the lock themes have been changed it's up to you to see if you want to have a randomly or just one you like let's see the menus can be changed, but that was already in the past. In the mean, I, I mean, you can change from the menu XML to the menu OB menu generator uh, menu, but uh, that also is explained in another tutorial, so that's still possible. There's no issues there. Um, what else? Okay, I think we're pretty much told everything that's changed um might be some keyboard shortcuts that are different so do check them out display key bindings here in your window because working with uh, arch labs becomes interesting for instance again i try to repeat it in any, any tutorial if you have these windows open and we have also this open then we can tile it with super and then the numeric path to the to the right one four five six seven eight nine and so on you tile it super fast and that's so much easier than 
dragging it to the top and then finding the corner like that and then dragging it down and up you know just use whatever keyboard shortcut is available so please do check them out there's a lot of fun in there and as well for i3 so you can reuse them there as well okay so um i would say that concludes our, <coughs> our uh, explanation and we can uh, leave it at that that's arch labs 5.0 and we think we have um, a genuine mature product now and um, have fun i would say team it and join us on google plus thanks to all the developers thanks to the team thanks to also youtube uh, youtuber bloggers and all that so let's make arch labs a nice distro ciao